going on everybody all right so here we have a little bit of a project that we are doing today that is a little bit different than the usual content not going to be jeep stuff but i need to find a way to move my welder around a little bit better and i actually was able to pick up this sweet card now obviously you can tell it's a little big for the welder a little bulky for the shop don't have a huge garage but this is it i cannot wait to see what is going to happen and what I can turn this little thing into. So let's get going. We're going to see what we can salvage off of this. I think I'm going to take this off so that way I can put it on as a handle afterwards. Take these on and put them on for a nice aesthetic afterwards possibly. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. Let's bust out the grinder. Now, time to grind all these welds down that are over here. Gonna make sure that I can get this basket off. It's just these six spots, and then it's resting on that bar there. So let's get to grinding. Scratch my table. That rod. Let's see. Free on side A. Now, time for side B. <laughs>
update. We have cut in half. I have it bead so when I bring it in I can have everything the way I want. I'm going to take a few inches off because I want to narrow it down. I want to get it to a little wider than the welder obviously but I'll bend everything as necessary and uh, yeah let's get to it.
Now, it should be nice and narrow. So if I square these up on the ground and weld them up, this should fit right nice in between. Maybe. I did do something a little weird, but don't worry about that. That's for me to know when you have to find out. <laughs> but, as you can see here, I just need to... Really? I should just cut those. Bend them out the way. Perfect. Probably just bent them towards each other. <laughs> so, yeah, I bent them towards each other like a dog. Tack it in place to square everything up nicely. All right, so let's get the welder on, power it up, feet adjusted. Might have to adjust it a little more. This is where I should have clamped it. Tack on there. It looks good. So let's see.
good. Really looks straight. Except for the camera. The uh, welds didn't come out too too bad, but they're getting ground down anyway. Doesn't really matter to me, so this is gonna have a cover on it. Uh, this weld doesn't look bad either, but that one's probably gonna just have a slight grind down and uh, just give it a coat of paint afterwards. Now time to get those bars centered up, get the bottom all in and weld it up to a cart again. And uh, yeah, can't wait.
Thanks everybody for watching part one of the welding cart build. Um, it is coming along great. Currently, I have to just finalize this right here at the front. But other than that, it is all secured. It rolls all four wheels just the way that I like it. So we'll get this all fully buttoned up. Again, I'm Dan. Thank you for hanging out with Crow Creations. Uh, if you could do me a favor, like this video, comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can and uh, subscribe. And if you could share it as much as you can so I can get a few more subscribers because once we hit that 100 subscriber mark, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of some sort. So please just uh, subscribe, share, like, comment, anything you want. Please just help me out. I appreciate it. I love you. Thank you. Have a good night. This is DIY Weekend with Dan. Have a good one.